Climate change is real, but for many reasons, certain people keep debating this issue, like game show host Pat Sajak. Maybe Sajak was joking, but he certainly sparked a firestorm with this tweet, quote, I now believe global warming alarmists are unpatriotic racists knowingly misleading for their own ends. Good night, end quote. That statement's so ridiculous, it's easy to laugh it off, except we can't, because powerful politicians like Florida Senator Marco Rubio say, quote, I do not believe that human activity is causing these dramatic changes to our climate the way these scientists are portraying it. And I do not believe that the laws will do anything about it except destroy our economy. Religious leaders are more than concerned about statements like that. They're now battling climate change deniers on moral grounds. Uh, the Reverend Mitch Hescox is president of the Evangelical Environmental Network. His group is asking Florida's governor to come up with a climate change plan for the state. Also with me, Father Edward Beck, a CNN religion commentator who thinks denying climate change is a sin. Welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you much. Reverend Hescox, can't we just say it like it is? Climate change deniers aren't listening to scientists, or they're not reading the Bible. They're denying global warming for purely political reasons, right? Well, they may be, but I think that's one of the problems in America today is, in my job, is to cross that bridge. You know, we don't want to beat up anybody, but we want to be that bridge builder that truly offers the love of Christ to help them to realize the serious impact and the serious nature of climate change. In fact, it's going to take all of America to come together to battle it. That's why the comments of Mr. Sajak yesterday, even in sarcasm, were, were hurtful. And I want to pray and lift him up because we need to get over this angry hatred and really turn to following the God that I know best in Christ and his love and leading us out of climate change. Tell me why you, um, you think scientists are right, Reverend. Well, well I think you just have to look at the world around you. I often tell the story of my 87-year-old dad, who was a former coal miner in Pennsylvania. You know, sitting at his kitchen table a little while ago, he just said, all you do is have to look outside. You know, the world is changing, and we need to do something about it before it's too late. And I think many Americans are seeing that right now, that the world is changing, and we have to act. All right, on the purely scientific route, Father Beck, there's a 97% consensus among scientific experts that humans are causing global warming. Now, religious leaders like Pope Francis say we have a moral responsibility to take care of the planet. You say if we don't, we're sinners, is that right? Well, I don't say it. The church has indicated that this is a moral issue. And just today, talk about breaking news, just today, Pope Francis at his general audience in Rome said this, if we destroy creation, creation will destroy us. Never forget this. The church for a long time now has been talking about climate change as a moral issue. John Paul II, way back in 1990, was talking about it. Benedict followed. We know that Benedict even said, it's a sin against the commandments to be a polluter against the environment. And so we have to see the earth as we're stewards of creation. We need to care for it. This is God's gift to us. And if you abuse it, then you're really maligning that gift. Uh, you know, it's easy to blow off comments like, you know, Pat Sajak's tweet, but, but tweets like that resonate among some people. So Father Beck, what would you like to say to Pat Sajak? Well, what's interesting to me is the racist, unpatriotic, how you link the two. I think the argument could be made that it is more racist to deny climate, con climate change because those being affected by it are the poor. The global poor are affected most by climate change, not the rich who can afford air conditioning and get around all the deleterious effects of climate control, climate change. Father Edward Beck, the Reverend Mitchell Hescox, thank you so much for both being here. I appreciate it.